making the shift, moving from survivor to thriver. There are quite a few reality TV shows based on survival. One particular one I enjoy watching is called Naked and Afraid. The show chooses a male and a female participant, who are willing to leave their homes and travel to an undisclosed remote location. While there, they are forced to rely on their survival skills. The only item either participant is allowed to bring with them from home is one personal utilitarian item. As they arrive at their destination, each of the two people are given a burlap bag and a map. Next, they remove their clothes and the game begins. As the title implies, the participants are literally naked and afraid. With no clothes, food, and shelter, they rely on each other to make it as the show progresses over a 21-day period. The grand prize is being able to make it 21 days without tapping out. If they accomplish this feat, they can call themselves survivors. If they fail the mission, they leave with the shame of knowing their failure. At the beginning of each show, the participants are given a primitive survival rating based upon their current skill set. At the end of the show, the survival rating is reassessed. Most of the time, the score has increased significantly if the person did well. If not, the score would fall even lower than the first assessment. It's quite interesting how they determine the scores. What do reality survival TV shows and breast cancer have to do with one another, you may be wondering. As I watch these types of survival scenarios, I realize surviving breast cancer isn't much different than a reality survival series. When a person is diagnosed with breast cancer, it can feel like being stranded in a deep dark jungle. Nothing looks or feels familiar. Danger seems to be lurking at every turn. And while none choose to enter that world, those diagnosed soon understand survival is key. Without a manual with instructions on survival, it's up to the person with cancer to find ways to fight for life. Survivor is a big word with a powerful meaning. After surgery and treatment, I was told I was a survivor. I didn't know how to fit that label, but soon found out. I learned survival required daily effort. I had to make the choice to use my skills to get through each day. Over the next few years I remained in survival mode. During that time, I was healing both physically and mentally. Everything in my life revolved around breast cancer. Everything. It consumed my world.